Welcome back everybody. I figured I'd do a quick video on this replacement ATK Chrysler 360 308 head. It's a stock replacement. El Hencho, El Mexico. Um, nice little flag. Interesting. Um, Remanufactured by non-original equipment. Okay, well that's the deal. Um, you can go to Summit Racing. I don't know if they still have them, but they were relatively inexpensive. They come with single springs, very large oil seals for the very large spot that they're going to cover up. Stock size valves, 3 8 gigantic, with two valve locks. It also comes with this uh, rotor on the exhaust. Well, I don't know if uh, you guys can really see the two pieces spinning, but that's what you get with a rotor. Only on the exhaust side. The intake side, standard retainer. Your locks. Like I said, your single springs. And uh, there's really no port work in here. It, this is really just a straight up factory rebuild. It's uh, pretty much set and good to go. I was running through the heads. You can see the very large push rod holes because this was on roller motors I'm gonna set this down over here real fast I was gonna check valve spring heights but I don't have a valve height checker that's small enough I need one for the stock valve spring height these are pretty small my smallest one goes to uh, just under one six, and uh, <laughs> that's about what these are. I just can't get them. But uh, I don't know if any of you guys have seen this tool. Comp has them. Comp cams has them. Mancini Racing has it. Two Allen head bolts hold down the bar, one on each side. Where's my magnet? Right here. You grab one of these little magnets and just pull on the head. Spring goes down. Stick your magnet in there. One. Sometimes the other one doesn't want to turn around so much. You can use this little pick to help dislodge it and turn it around and get the other one out. Luckily, these springs have very little pressure. Very easy to pull back. Piece of cake. Do it in reverse. What these 308 heads have are little air ports. You're going to need a uh, 5 16 by 18 Allen head plug. Just take them. They're a, uh, hold on, one, two, three, four. It's a 532 Allen. You just screw them in. When you screw them in, bring them down. Oh, come on now. Pass flush. So this way, when you bolt your headers on, nothing will stop the header from uh, leaking. Because these ports go right underneath this. They're for the air injection that they had put on later model vehicles to help meet emissions. When you put your valve seals back on, actually, let me leave them off for now. But just take your time, take it easy. They should go on relatively easy, just kind of like smushing a piece of butter over something. Nice warm butter. We'll just take these uh, 8 inch C clamps off. This piece of wood I made that I bolt the head to. And what that does is help secure everything. I can bolt the head to this. And this I just see clamped down. And if I actually had a sturdy table, unlike this cheap one that you play cards on or set up at the picnic, it wouldn't be so bad. But it works for now. Waiting to get the garage built. Permits and all that other crap. I don't know if anybody knows to deal with that, but it's just a matter of time. I'll show you what I did here. 
get you a close up for a second. Just ran these bolts through. Yeah. Let me make sure I get you back decently over there. Sorry, everybody. Simple. usual valves I don't know if these are stock I haven't played with stock stuff in a long time and really don't want to play with stock stuff there's your 308 casting number there are your valves I don't know if these are uh, federal mogul valves. This is, quite frankly, one heck of a unit. Look, look at that. Mamma mia. Looks like an anvil. This intake is a lot better. Bit of a ski jump on there. I don't plan on modifying anything. Just going to use them on a stock rebuild, pop it in the truck, and off we go. There's your valve job, gets it down into the throat a little bit. Let me grab a flashlight and shine it down there, see if we get anywhere. Yeah, a little bit. percent stock it's an open type of chamber we have a bit of a oh, good heavens I'm sorry everybody it's a bit of an open chamber we got good 60 thousands type of recess here and all this wide open area I don't know how many cc's this is I will look into that later I think I still have my cc kit all right let me put you back a second we'll flip this over take a look at the deck uh, sorry, that's the deck. We'll just spin it. Around. Yeah, that's the deck. All right. Here's your intake sides. Nothing. Uh, nothing exotic. It's actually really hard to see in there. It's absolutely horrible. To see. Sorry, fellas. You're basically just looking at a stock head. It looks pretty nice. Everything should perform just well. Like I said, stock rebuild should have no problems. I'll keep you updated. If anything goes bad, you'll know about it. If everything's fine, you're not going to hear a word. 